So guys, if you watched our previous video, I was showing you how you can deal with a straight punch coming at you, a very common attack. Today's video, we're tackling circular punches, hooks, or haymakers. So in today's video, I also want to show you two options, short range and long range. Now when dealing with a short range, from here, if you see this attack coming at you, the better thing you can do is cover and jump sell, right? So you're just raising the arm because instinctively you will want to protect your face. And most of us will raise the arms when we feel we're in danger. So what you do is just train yourself to react from here and then just drop the forearm like a jump sail. So when that is happening, boom, this one you can attack. You can use a punch, you can use an uppercut. Because you're this close, you just drop and follow up or here with a straight punch. Once you connect that, then by all means you can follow up with your opposite hand. So it looks something like this, I'm covering, boom, and then you can follow up. As you do that, you want to cover by dropping, hitting, and then you can follow up. You can do your chain punches as well, right? It's a simple yet very effective way of intercepting, jamming and protecting yourself against that hook punch when you're in close proximity. Now let's say the attack, same type of punch is coming at you, but there's more distance and you're in the fight. So you're expecting something to happen. When that hook is coming in, then boom, you can jam, right? You can quonsal, boom, jam, and then follow up with an elbow or a thrusting punch. So it's kind of like the same mindset. If he's coming, you're going, boom, you just jam. You quonsal and then follow up. See, you need to have confidence to be able to fight back. Right? If there's a scenario where you could run away, then by all means, that's what you should do. But if your back is against the wall and you need to fight back, this is a good option for you. The hook is coming, step in, boom, quanta, boom, and then follow up with the thrusting punch or the elbow strike. Simple yet effective. That's how I like to keep my techniques. So guys, make sure you work on the techniques from the previous video and add these to your arsenal as well, so that way you have effective techniques against the straights and the hooks. I hope you like it, I'll see you in the next one. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button, share it with a friend. And guys, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. There's plenty of material there to keep you busy training and taking your Wing Chun to the next level. If you haven't already, check out my online academy. It's umauniversity.com.au. There's a free introductory applied Wing Chun course you can check out and learn from those videos as well. Having said that, I'll see you in the next one.